Hi girls, so many people that I see, particularly women, want to learn how to do pull-ups and I'm going to show you how to do them now and I'm going to show you how to regress them so you can actually start to build the strength to get a pull-up. So, here's the rig here. All I'm going to do is a strict pull-up so as you can see that there, there is no swing and this is what everybody wants to try and achieve, okay? So from here, I get a good hang and then I pull my body up, chin over and then I come down slowly. Okay, so that is a pull-up, a strict pull-up. But there are loads of different ways you can do a pull-up. The next one I try and get my clients to try and do is jump, get as high up as possible, and then when they're as high up as possible, chin over the bar. So from here, up, chin over the bar. And again, up, chin over. So we start to try and build the strength and it's, a, it's quite good fun as well. However, these bands are absolutely brilliant at building back strength, arm and shoulder strength to allow you to get closer to a pull-up. So this is under my foot and it's a band that's going to help me get up a wee bit higher. So from here, cross my leg over the band and pull and it suddenly becomes much easier. And again, pull. And one more, up, and down. There are also negative pull-ups. So you would stand on a box, in fact, let me show you. Hold on a wee second. <laughs> You would make sure that your chin is above the bar and then you would lower yourself down really slowly so as you keep control of it and you build strength. So from here, this is my starting point here and then I'm coming down slowly. This is called a negative. So it's the negative part of the pull up um, but great, some, some great progressions and regressions there to build some strength to allow you to do a pull-up.